Next to face the dragons are proud parents, Lauren and Mark Taylor. Everything that we're doing with the business is all about doing it for our own children. They're at the heart of everything we do. And it's their skincare product for the booming baby care market that they're here to pitch. We get people telling us we've changed their lives. It feels more than a business to us. It feels like a passion. But will the dragon show equal passion for an investment? Hello dragons, I'm Lauren and this is my husband Mark. And we're here today to offer you 10% of our business, Cocoso Skin Limited, in exchange for a £50,000 investment. Our product is Cocoso Baby, the premium quality, 100% natural and organic coconut oil, specially selected for head to toe infant skin care. Cocoso Baby was born out of a desire to care for our daughter's skin in the most natural way possible. As a new mum, I was one of the 89% of parents worried about the potentially harmful chemicals in mainstream baby toiletries. So I did my research and discovered the many topical benefits of raw virgin coconut oil. So when we started the business, we made it our mission to source the highest grade coconut oil we could find. We're currently selling on our website, in independent baby boutiques and in boot stores throughout the UK. There are 700,000 babies born in the UK alone every year and the trend in baby toiletries is moving towards premium, natural and organic, just like Cocoso Baby. Thank you for your time. Would you like to try the product? A well-oiled pitch from parents come business partners Lauren and Mark Taylor. That little goes a long way. They're hoping £50,000 of Dragon investment for a 10% stake will propel their infant skincare range into a must-have product for baby. News that they're already stocked in one high street retailer has caught the attention of Nick Jenkins. Lauren, Mark, I'm Nick. Hi, Hi Nick. Nick. Um, you're stocked in boots? Yeah. Tell me about some numbers. We launched in 200 stores and they're doubling the number of stores to 400. OK, down to 400. And you sold, how much have you sold in those 200 stores in the last 12 months? In the last uh, 12 months, 9,000 was since we launched in June. 9,000? 9, 9,000 units. Units, so what's that in pounds? That would be about... 18, about 20,000 pounds. I'm sort of hoping you're going to say more than that. How, how many stores have they got in total? Well, they, they only have a certain amount with baby sections. OK, well, how many have they got with baby sections? Uh, there's about 800. 800 with baby sections. If you extrapolate that up and you say, well, wow, imagine we can get into the biggest of chemist in the country and they've got 800 stores and that, that would just be amazing and transformational for the business. But um, if that turned into sort of £80,000 worth of business, that, that, that wouldn't be transformational, really, would it? No. Your product has sold less than one of these per store per week. Genuinely, that is not good. Well, so what's gone wrong? I mean, they, they don't, Boots themselves don't see it that way. We haven't really done it with any marketing, so the, when the we... The whole idea of having a retail store is that you put things in it that people hopefully will buy. As I said, just by, just by offering a promotion for two weeks, we doubled sales and they stayed at that level for the next four months. But they're doubling the number of stores we're in from next month and that's got to be... Well, that means that you're reason. going to be moving about 90 per store per year. I, I guess if that, yeah, that average, yeah, yeah. That's really bad. Not the best of starts for Lauren and Mark, as they're forced to defend their moderate high street sales. Deborah Meaden is a prime player in the organic market. Does she forecast a more profitable future? I love the smell. 
you know, and the purity of it is yeah. really lovely. It is, yeah. Because one of the things I constantly say is don't put things on your children's skin that you wouldn't put in their mouth because, yeah, that's exactly you know, it. our skin absorbs yeah. um, exactly the same things that we do when we eat, you know, and that you can't get purer than that. Unfortunately, I feel very, very conflicted. Because I've actually invested in a, a toiletries range. We're looking to spread out to creams. You know, I, I couldn't talk about this as, you know, the ultimate product and then talk about that as the ultimate, you know, the, yeah. the one that I'm already involved in. Yeah. So I might as well say now, you know, sadly, for those reasons, um, I, I'm going to have to declare myself out. A previous den investment in a skincare range for children leaves a conflicted Deborah Meaden unable to do business, and she's the first dragon out. Is mum of four Sarah Willingham more inclined to pursue a deal? In terms of putting raw, organic coconut oil on your kids, I think it is completely the future the way forward. It's been the single product that I've put on my kids' eczema that's had the biggest success. Yeah. But I also, uh, I have to come clean, I'm also very conflicted um, because I have just invested in a raw, organic coconut oil business um, that is extremely good quality. It's not yet in skincare, but it, the actual product is exactly the same, so um, I'm afraid I'm going to have to declare myself out as well. Can I tell you why? My hand has been slightly, slightly forced. I've, I have realised that I'm conflicted because I am actually a joint investor with, um, <laughs> with Sarah. <laughs> so it would be very odd of me to, to, to make you an offer. I'm afraid I can't invest, so I'm out. A further blow as Sarah Willingham and Nick Jenkins also find themselves hamstrung by a conflicting den investment. Which means High Street retailer Tuka Suleiman has a chance to take advantage of the situation. You've lost dragons because they're conflicted. Yeah. yeah. They're in a similar business, so there must be something in it. Yeah. <laughs> right? You've got a brand, mm -hmm. you're in boots, one step ahead of the competition, so you, you, you've gone past that initial hurdle. The real question is, 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 is this a business that can grow? The way we see it is we've got the coconut oil as the hero product. This is, this is what right. does all the, all the good. Uh, all the other products that we can then bring into that to produce a range all revolve around this one hero product. So it's really looking at the potential where we want to be and having a dragon to make sure that we can scale to that level um, and be in the, in the everyday baby market. You're saying that you want to compete with the big boys? Yeah. You realise once you're in that arena, your margin gets squeezed, you're not selling much, you'll just get eaten alive. Tuka Suleiman is worried that as the entrepreneur's business expands, their profit margins will come under pressure. Can Peter Jones see a more favourable prospect for an investment? This is quite sad, isn't it? You've got three people that are conflicted. <laughs> you've, got, you've got Tuke still in. Um, and would you believe it? I think I'm conflicted. Because I own 30% of Truly Holly Baby, which is Holly Willoughby's company. Oh. Ah, right, okay, and right. we are bringing out a range of creams and everything's organic, everything is natural. So four out of five dragons are conflicted, which is probably the first time I've ever known this to happen in the den. I clearly am not going to go and invest in, in, in this. And I'm out. Okay. Thank you. When I look at your numbers, and I look at where you're at, you've probably got hardly anything in the bank, correct? Yeah. What do you want from a dragon? What doors do you want open? Or is it just the money you want because you're desperate for the money? No, no, not at all. We have a vision of where we can take it, of what other products we can bring in that are more no, mainstream. You didn't answer my question. What would you expect from me? 
just, just an overview, business strategy really, just an overview of where we want to be and make sure we can get there from someone that's scaled a business and can see what pitfalls we might fall into, make sure we don't fall into them. It's a business, there's not much there. At the moment, yeah. At the moment. However, I admire what you've done and... Um, I'm thinking. Um, as a brand, I love it. I'm going to make you an offer. Thank you. I think you are going to need quite a bit of mentoring in, in the business world and probably help you out with your website, help you out to see where you want to go with this. And I'm going to want a bit more percentage, I'm afraid. Yeah? And, and I'd want 30% of the business for 50 grand. Okay. Should we go and have a think yes. about it? Yes, we'll just go and have a chat. <laughs> Finally, an offer, but to Kasuliman's equity demand of 30% is three times the 10% that Lauren and Mark wanted to give away. It's the entrepreneur's turn to be conflicted. I would have gone for 40. Mm. They're going to come back and say, that's a lot of work. At least a lot of work. What about the option to go down? Oh, I don't really want to get into that. Will they do a deal or walk away? <laughs> I think you've put us in a slightly difficult position because we did say we wouldn't go above 25%. Have you got any, any room to come down? I won't come down, but I'll, I'll put it this way to you. When I get my money back, right? Yeah. I'll give you back the 5%. Okay. For free. Okay. I've got a very good team behind me and, and we'll help you on a daily basis. Sounds amazing. Mm. Thank yeah. you. We'd like Brilliant. to accept your offer. Thank you. Yeah. Good. Oh, oh, fantastic. fantastic. Great. Thanks very much, Tika. Oh, really thank we, you so we much. Make a go of this. Thank you. It takes a brave entrepreneur to negotiate with the last dragon standing. Okay. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm excited thank you. about it. Thank, thank you. you. They've given away 30% of their business, but with an agreement that Tuka Suleiman will give back 5% of the business when he recoups his initial investment. That's it, couldn't be happier. They were sort of dropping like flies at one point. Congratulations, Tuka. Thank you. I love the product, I love the branding. It can only go one way. <laughs> <laughs>